Howdy there, folks. How are y'all doing? My name is Reese. I have a bit of a cold, and a lot has happened since the last time I played this game, which was way back in June. And by this game, I don't mean Minecraft. I mean this particular mod pack, because my gosh, I have done so much work since the last time we recorded. I started to build a house. This was all back in June. I, I said it, I realized in such a way that it might imply that since June I've been working on this. No, no, I haven't opened this game since towards the end of June. And uh, today we're opening back up. I wanted to record in this world specifically because, uh, not because there's anything I want to do here. I don't even remember what the last thing I was doing here. It was, it was three months ago. I started playing Xenoblade Chronicles X and that was all that mattered in my life. But today is a special day. Because I, um, we're back on the Mac Studio. <laughs> the last time that I changed from the Mac Studio to a different capture system was when we went from the Mac Studio to the Capture VM running on my Unraid server, which has been working mostly flawlessly. But uh, there have been some updates. There were some updates to Mac OS. The new OBS version 28 is out. There were some Blackmagic Studio updates. I got them all installed. And I said, you know what? Let's see whether or not we can capture the Mac Studio again without the weird black frames issue. Now, is it going to work? I don't know. That's why I'm recording this to find out. Now, I did. I mean, I, I realized this is an abrupt difference since the last time. So I'm going to go ahead and queue up. I, I recorded a video, and I don't think... I, I don't know how it is. It might just be a let's build. There might not be an opening to it. If there is an intro, roll that intro. We went to the end. We fought the end dragon. We found the elytra, and we built the mighty flying ring. I've forgotten the name of it. Just so we would be able to fly around and do construction. Howdy, folks. Let's get into that. Okay, well, if there wasn't an intro, then you just got something else there, I guess. Uh, but basically, I did a let's build, and I'm going to roll that footage. Basically, I'm going to just sit here and wait to see if black frames appear in the video. I won't usually see them until I go into Final Cut Pro, but just in case, I'm going to go ahead and uh, park myself here, throw that in the timeline. You guys can watch a compilation of clips of me building this place while I explain to you the experiences that I have had trying to get this going today. There's going to be a lot of preamble before I get to today. So I'm, I'm going to try to make this brisk and quick and easy to understand. So it all started. I mean, I guess it all really started the day I was born. But to skip further ahead, if you watch my Take It 2 series, you'll know that my cat Thomas passed away. He was hit by a car and literally minutes after I let him out the door, at the most 30 minutes, because I, I let him outside, I sat down to start recording, partway through the recording, my brother called and said, hey, I just drove past uh, your house, I think I think your one of your cats is in the road, um, I was like, I'll go get him, and he was like, well, I think he's dead, I was like, I'll go get him, so I went outside, and sure enough, I have two cats, Thomas and Tifa, and Thomas uh, looks like he was struck by a car. I, I assume he died immediately. But I scooped him up. My brother came by, brought a box for me. We put him in the box, buried him. That was on a Saturday. Very sad. Uh, two days later, I, I kind of decided after that, I was like, it's just going to be me and Tifa. Tifa's mostly an outside cat, but she's smart enough not to go in the road. She actually goes under the road through this like culvert that takes her into these these neighboring wild lands where she hunts snakes and rats and things and has a good time and then she comes back to my house f for real food and, and cuddles on the porch. But I decided I would take a break before I tried to get a new cat to replace Thomas. Thomas was my inside cat. He was my cuddly boy. He was my sweet boy. He only went outside occasionally, a couple hours a day. Sometimes he'd stay outside while I was at work, but he never really went and did anything. He just kind of hung out outside with Tifa. And... He was a weird cat. <laughs> he was such an oddly unique cat. There's, there's the history of Thomas being found in this horrible, like, thunderstorm. He just ran into a friend's house as a little baby kitten, and they're like, where did you come from? His tail was broken. The end of his tail was like, it looked like it had been broken and then healed slightly crooked, so it had this weird curve, like a hook on the end. And the vet said, that's, that's fine. It doesn't appear to be hurting him or, or harming his balance, and... It'd probably be more cruel to, like, break it and then try to set it and have it heal correctly, so just leave it. So he had this weird crooked tail. He, my, my, the friends that found him, family friends, they didn't want him. They gave him to my niece. She ended up being unable to care for him for various reasons, so I got him. He stayed with me for about a year. 
He was the best cat I've ever owned. I loved him dearly. He was funny, sassy, killed things. Loved him. Didn't want to replace him. So two days afterward, that was on a Saturday. Two days later, on a Monday, I get a call from my mom, who is at work, and her and her coworker found a mother cat and four kittens. This is all important to the story I'm going to tell you, okay? This is all very important. She said, do you own a kitten? I said, absolutely, I do. <laughs> so uh, off to my, my mother's place of work that I went. And in the picture of the kittens, they looked to be fairly old, you know, probably around the eight-week mark, close enough. And when I got there, they were so much smaller than they looked in the picture. They were itty-bitty fit in the palm of your hand kitties. And I was like, I can't take them away from their mom. Uh, so I brought a little bowl of food that I was going to try to allure kittens in with, because I thought, you know, wild kittens, they'll be hard to catch. I kind of stepped into this little shed where they were, and Mama Cat hissed at me but did not run. And this was my first clue that maybe Mama Cat, who has now taken the name Nia, and she will be referred to as such uh, moving forward, I, I realized maybe she was someone's pet at some point, and then either she ran away from home, or maybe she got kicked out after she got pregnant, but she was not frightened of the way that a wild, feral cat would be in the presence of a person. She hissed at me, but she kind of stood her ground. The kittens kind of scattered. I sat the food down. She immediately started eating. I just started petting her, and I was like, I can't take a kitten from her. They're too little. Take me back home. I will come back with a carrier. I will take them all. And that is what I did. I came back. I got all four kittens. I got Nia. I brought them home. Immediately decided I would be keeping Nia because she's just this gorgeous, sweet cat. Um, I gotta get her, her vaccines and get her spayed, but I'm keeping her. I love her. As for the kittens, I think I've lined up homes for all of them when they're old enough, so this was on a Monday, so that was two and a half weeks ago, so they're two and a half weeks older now. They don't quite fit in the palm of your hand, you can still hold them in your hand, but they're like, they're high energy and rambunctious, and they're running around and they're wrestling all the time. They're just adorable cats. Uh, adorable little kittens. I love them. I may have named them all already, but that's, you know, obviously whoever ends up taking them in can rename them. So that's the first important element to the story. I have a mother cat and four kittens. Also, I still have my cat Tifa. This is just a fun aside. She hates them. She hates uh, Nia. She hates the kittens. Not physically, like, abusive towards them. She doesn't attack them or anything. But there have been many instances where they'll, they will walk up to her because she's, like, the only other cat they've ever, ever interacted with in their life. And she hisses at them, and they hiss at her. And then they run up and try to swat her, and she just runs away. Like, they're li little murderous death creatures coming to kill her. So she's not interested in them. <laughs> but they're fascinated with her because she's just, like, another cat. Not relevant to the story, though. What's relevant is I have a mom cat and four kittens on one side of my house. On the other side, on the, on the, in the back, I have my two dogs. I have Thomas and I have Ben. Thomas is a German Shepherd lab mix, black lab mix, mostly black lab, big German Shepherd head and paws, uh, and the German Shepherd style tear, uh, tail, and my goodness, German Shepherd style hair. I have to brush him out usually twice a year. And you would think, Reese, surely you just mean like once in the spring? No. No, I don't. Big, thick loads of hair. Got to get brushed out. Otherwise, he starts to shed. And he looks sickly. People ask, is your dog sick? I'm like, oh, no, it's just shedding time. I need to go brush out his hair. And then Ben is mostly Beagle. I don't know what the other bits are, but he's mostly Beagle. And he acts like mostly a Beagle. You know, Snoopy's a Beagle. He sleeps on top of a doghouse. Ben does that. Ben hunts things. Ben likes to point. No one's ever taught him to point. He just points. You know, he tries to climb trees. He's an escape artist. He gets off and he runs away. And he comes back when he's hungry. He's wild. That brings us to today. I've decided that today, with all of these updates, I'm going to attempt to swap out the capture card from the big Unraid server into the PCIe enclosure that is plugged into the Mac Studio. And we'll, we'll attempt to record and see whether or not it works and whether or not we get any weird, annoying black frames or whether or not I can move back to this being my primary capture PC, uh, machine. The reason for that is that it's so much more power efficient than e even a VM. Like, sure, the Unraid server is always running, but it requires like an NVIDIA graphics card to be passed through it to use the NVENC encoder, and it uses a lot more juice than just having this Mac Studio, this tiny little draws 55 watt at most while capturing Mac Studio. 
and electricity is expensive right now. Electricity is very expensive right now. We're, we're exporting a lot of our natural gas to Europe at the moment because they're dealing with the whole Putin situation. Putin be Putin, you know what I mean? So, uh, and we're not we're not collecting enough of the natural gas that we have here because of, well, we won't get into that. It gets into weird political limits. But anyway, electricity prices have gone up. Trying to use less power. Also trying to put less heat into my home that then has to be removed by the air conditioning unit. All of that to say, I, I get it hooked up, I start testing, I'm having some weird quirks and issues that I'm trying to iron out. And then we get to the moment where it goes into complete chaos. So I'm sitting here, I'm struggling with this, and I kind of vaguely hear a lawnmower in the distance. And the lawnmower starts getting closer and closer and closer. And I get up and I peek out the window, and the kittens have scattered because the lawnmower is terrified. They're like, oh no, I gotta go get the kittens. So I go around to the front of my home. And I start searching for kittens, and I managed to find them. They're all safe. They're all fine. They're just up underneath this thing that they'd found. They were just, like, burrowed in and hiding from the lawnmower. I was like, okay, you guys are fine. While I'm doing that, I start hearing my dogs barking. I'm like, okay, you guys sit tight. Go to the back of the house. And Ben is is barking, and he's got something, and he's, like, wrangling it. I'm like, Ben, what is that? And I look, and it's a king snake, you know? And I'm like, Ben... Don't kill the king snake. My assumption is that the neighbor started mowing and it spooked the king snake into my yard where it then came across a wild bin. So I go around in the back and my plan is like get Ben to stop and help the king snake escape. And as I approach, I realize it is not a king snake. Red and yellow, kill a fellow. Ben is currently hassling a coral snake, an extremely deadly venomous snake and he's just got it in his mouth and shaking it and throwing it on the ground and barking at it and then repeating as it's trying to get away from him I'm like ah ben stop then i hear a meow from the front yard i'm like uh oh so i go running through the house to the front yard throw the door open kittens are there mom is there teeth is there i don't know who meowed or why mama lays down the kittens start nursing i hear ben barking and i'm like ah so i run through the house again i grab a shovel i go out ben is still attacking the extremely deadly venomous coral snake that has somehow not bitten him yet i'm like get away and i cut the snake in half i cut it in twine and then i cut it in thrine i take the three pieces i throw them over the fence and i say okay that's done are you okay? I hear the meow again. I run back through the house to the front of the house where there's the four kittens. Why are they meowing? They're meowing because I still don't know why. I guess they're hungry. So Tifa's gone. Don't know where she went. Mommy cat lays down. They're nursing. Did I say that before? I might have said that before. I was wrong. The order of events is wrong. Now they're nursing. Ben starts barking again. I'm like, Ben, why are you barking? I run back through the house. Ben is now barking at a bird that is immediately materialized. And started eating the now dead snake. I'm like, ah, Ben, right, pick Ben up, twist him around, hold him up, look at him from every angle, make sure that he's not been bitten by a snake. No snake bites seen yet. Now, this was about two hours ago. For those of you who are worried that maybe the venom takes time to take effect, Ben is fine. Ben tried to climb a tree moments ago. That's normal behavior for Ben. I know you're hearing that and you're thinking, dog in tree. Unusual. Wrong. Ben loves to try to climb the tree. He can't, because he's a dog but he always tries because there's squirrels in the tree and it is in ben's nature to seek and hunt small thing right except for cats ben loves cats ben's very sweet he's very sweet to things that he knows not so much to things that slither and things that fly so he's now barking at this at this uh bird and like ben stop and kylo is just there throughout all of this i know i said i have two dogs what was kylo doing this whole time absolutely nothing Kylo is the best dog. He's just sitting there watching me run back and forth as the insanity unfolds. He'll kind of get up and he'll look at what Ben's doing and then he'll go lay back down. He does not care. So I go back to the front and I check. Mowing is stopped. Cat and kittens taking a nap. I'm like, okay, Ben is fine. Everything's fine. I come back here. I start working again. I kind of get everything ready to record. I'm like, okay, I'm going to record now. I get up one more time to check and make sure that the kittens are okay. The kittens are gone. I don't see them from the window. So I go into a panic. I was like, oh gosh. So I run back around. I throw the door open. They're, they're just at the front door. They're just hanging out at the front door. They're so close to the wall that I couldn't see them through the window, but they're there and they're okay. And I'm like, okay, good. I go back around. Ben is dead. I panic. I throw the door open. Ben gets up. Ben was napping. Ben is not dead. Ben is fine. Ben is uh, uh, tail wagging, tongue out, panting. I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. I woke you up from your nap. I close the door. I come back here. I feel bad for Ben because he was taking a nap. I guess he was tired from trying to climb the tree. 
and uh, and, and he's fine. Uh, Kylo is fine. Tifa's fine. Nia's fine. Kittens are fine. Everything is fine. How is this, though? Is this working? I'll have no way of knowing whether or not this footage came out okay. Oh! Oh, there was also some weird issues with um, not getting V-Sync to work on here. And actually not getting this pack to load either. I guess those... I, I could talk about the technical issues I was having. Hopefully you've enjoyed that little montage, if I can find the video, of me building this place. I can't wait to open that up in the editor and, and see things that I've forgotten. I don't know. Maybe there's... Maybe there's... I don't remember what I was doing the last time I played this pack. I don't even know what this is. An engineer's workbench? Oh, wait, didn't we make a weapon with this at one point? I've got... I've got Niter. Was I using a resource pack with this? I can't remember now. Did I maybe have Sfax installed, but none of the mods? I don't know. I decided to go with Polished Diorite. I remember this because I wanted to be able... I, I wanted to use vanilla blocks for the construction of this place. Because in my head, I thought that maybe I would want to take this building out and put it into a different world. Building? What? How long have I had this? Was I using this? Why do I not remember any of this? Anyway, I couldn't get this pack to launch inside of PolyMC or MultiMC, and I had to download the actual uh, FTB launcher, which... I mean, to be fair, it, it they have a Linux version. It downloads as a .sh file that you have to give permission to run and then run in terminal, which is odd. Why not like a Debian package? Why not have it up in apt or, or as a flat pack? I don't know. But to be fair, it does work. It's only got like one ad on it. It's fine. I don't know if I'm going to be continuing this series... For those of you who don't know, who are watching this on Howdy Folks LP, this series did not start on Howdy Folks LP. This series started on Howdy Folks Gaming. In 2021? It may have been really early 2021. And this has been the longest running series I've ever had. Not in terms of total episodes, but in terms of the fact that actually... <laughs> Valhalla is definitely longer running, I suppose. This is the longest running Minecraft series. Just by which I mean from the day I started capturing it till today. It's been almost two years. It's insane. But I don't know if I'm going to continue it because I don't know what we were doing and I don't even know what to pursue. I know we built the crafting grid. That's cool. Throw all this nonsense in here. I don't even know what I was going for with this construction. I don't know what I was going to try to build. Maybe I just put a roof on it and call it a day. That could that could work. That could actually work just fine. I have to move the solar panel up there. I did. I do remember not wanting to move these machines for some reason. So I just kind of left them all down here, with the the cables attached, and and just kind of run underground. I'll have to move them at some point. But basically, I just wanted to test and see whether or not this was all going to work. Or whether or not we have to pull that capture card out of the enclosure, stick it back into the Unraid server, put that back into the the the, the, the rack and, and power it all back on and go back to using that. And the only way I'm going to know is when I edit this video. So I'm going to put up on screen whether or not it worked. That's awesome! Or, that sucked! Sorry, I'm recording those, so after I put up on screen whether or not it worked or didn't, we'll know which one to go with. So, did it work? Cool. Or not cool. I'm gonna stop recording now. I'm still kinda sick. I still have a bit of a cold. <sighs> Let me go check on Ben again. I know he's okay. He had no bite marks. And it's been a couple hours now, and he's, he's acting perfectly normally. But still... I mean, well, no, he's acting perfectly normal for Ben. It's all relative. Relative to the way that Ben would normally act, Ben is acting fine. Uh, thank you folks for watching. God bless you, and I'll see you later. Bye!